in our last video we have seen how to add a table on the object page and show the details about each of the carrier IDs in this video we will be adding a progress bar here which will use some data points and uh, we will be showing these two fields data onto the progress bar so let's see how that can be done uh, since the data is coming from the cds view so we need to make some changes into this view only so very first thing what we will do is we will create a new column so for that ui dot line item and the position would be 80 and the label would be occupied seats and the value which we will be showing is seats occupied as occupying seats let's see how it looks so our new column has been added but we do not want to show these values instead of these values we want to show a progress bar showing these many seats are occupied of these maximum seats so in this column we would be needing both the values to show the progress bar okay so let's see how that can be done for that we first need to change the line item type here so by default it is a standard type but now we want to show some progress bar so it would be kind of hash as underscore data point so instead of showing numbers it will be used to show the graph or the progress bar now how this data point needs to be displayed so for that we have a annotation data point and uh, how you want to show it is visualization so we want to show it as a progress bar so progress and uh, what are the values it is compared against so the target value element would be our maximum seats element so this will be shown for the target value means these are the maximum seats and these many are already occupied okay so we have added this let's activate and refresh okay so now we are seeing a progress bar here which is showing these many seats are occupied of these maximum seats available okay so probably now we do not want these two columns so let's remove these two columns from the output just comment out the annotation no need to delete the fields activate and uh, refresh okay so now we have the progress bar available into the object page tabular format that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you